Hi, this video is about how to find data from the statistical abstract of the United States using an online source as well as how to find it actually in the library. So for this first part is using online. So if you'll notice on your Blackboard page here I have in front of you, um, right on the left it says uh, ProQuest Statistical Abstract. So what you want to do is click on that button and you will see this. So the difference between this and just Googling the Statistical Abstract of the United States, which you can also do, the difference is this is a little more detailed because the library subscribes to it. So here you have to have done completed you know week one's exercise so you know what you're interested in the type of data that you're interested in and what you want to do is enter up here into the keywords the type of data that you might be interested in so for me I'm a little bit interested in higher education and some of the ins and outs of higher education so let's just assume for a moment that I have found my three articles uh, last week on higher education which was brought on because I read something in the Bangor Daily about the inefficiencies in higher ed. So I would type then in here higher education. So I can type in additional words like efficiency or professors or um, ratio but sometimes that will restrict it too much. Sometimes it's a better idea to just sort of look through what you see here. So when I'm looking at this, um, actually I, I'm working on, on a research paper on this exact topic. So the types of things that I need for my research would be this table here because this is college freshman characteristics. It gives me sex, high school grades, political orientation, field of study, objectives, family income, selected years. And notice it runs from 1980 to 2015. So I like that because ultimately I'm trying to find 30 to 50 years of data for my paper. So here we go. This one is great. Then I also like this one. This one is um, federal funds for education and related programs because I'm always interested in how much money the federal government gives various entities uh, for higher education. Now the next one here, and again this one also has a year span on it, so I like that. The next one, science, engineering, and technology degrees is a percent of higher ed degrees by state 2013 less interesting to me because that doesn't really get at my topic of interest but now I can go down here and I can see state and local financial support for higher education by state so this is interesting for me and then um, employees in higher education by employment status etc that's almost exactly what I'm looking for and then maybe here school enrollment faculty graduates and finances so as you notice, um, I'm getting, a, I have a few more than three here because sometimes what you think is going to be in the table isn't necessarily what's in the table. So it's a good idea to kind of, you know, pick a few and take a look. So now let's just say I want to look at one of these. So I'm going to choose this one. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can click on it or you can show a preview. If you have no idea what you're looking for, it can sometimes be a good idea to uh, use the preview method. Rather than downloading it, you can kind of see, all right, so here we've got um, the enrollment, we have educational appropriations in dollars, and then um, we can see educational appropriation per FTE. So they've divided one by the other. And you know, it's always interesting to look at Maine, and we can see Maine is 35.6. 233 and we're given 6.5 um, probably in thousands uh, per student. Now remember this is only higher education. So let's just say that wasn't really what I wanted so then I might go up here and, and take a look at this one. Same thing, look at the preview. Now this one you can see gives me a lot more information. It says um, Department of Education, how much money is being given, to what types of programs, but you know it's including Head Start up here, but when I get down here I see, oh okay, so this is higher education programs, Department of Education, how much money is given. So this is going to be at the federal level and 
you know, you have to decide if that's what you want because this is pretty um, broad information. And then let's take a look at this one here. We've got the college freshman summary. Now this one seems to give us some nice time series data. Notice we have 1980, 1990, 1995. So we have several points and it's giving us the same data over and over year after year. So this looks to be a pretty promising table for me. So I'm gonna wanna download it. So I'll click download. But before I do that, I want to take a screenshot of this so that I can do my homework assignment. So I'm gonna go over and grab my snipping tool right here. This little doodad here called a snipping tool. I'm using Windows um, on a Mac, it's called Grab. And I'm gonna just grab this. Now, I strongly recommend uh, that you use a program called OneNote to work on your research with, but you know, you can use whatever you want. Let me show you. So I'm gonna open up my research project folder in my OneNote right here. And I'm gonna copy, or I'm gonna paste my, what I found into this. So this is gonna tell me the name of the table. It's gonna give me the characteristics. And then um, it's also gonna give me the URL to, if I wanna get back to this. Um, sometimes it'll just cut and paste it in there, depending on how you do it. The way I did it, it won't. Um, but I can uh, use the clipping tool from OneNote. And so I go here to oops, uh, insert screen clipping and then come over here and grab it. And then if I want to download the data, maybe I want to add a page here that's going to say um, data from table 298. And then I go back over here and I say download to Excel, and it will do that, and it will say table not, uh, 298. Um, depends on where you want to put it. I kind of like putting it in my, in my notebook. So first I just download it in the old place. I'll put it in my class folder for this class, and I'm gonna save, save it, not just as table 298, but I'm gonna be a little more descriptive than that because otherwise I won't be able to remember what it was I had done before. So I label it and save it. And now I'll put it over back in my workbook so I have everything together. So now what I'm gonna do is, and it's completely up to you how you wanna do it. I've just found that over the years, uh, I do a lot of research and I see a lot of students doing research and it's easy to get lost in all the data and which table is which and all that stuff. Having it all in one place is really helpful. So I, I recommend this, but, and it's a free download, so. Anyway, so uh, what I'm gonna say is I wanna insert a spreadsheet and mine is an existing Excel spreadsheet. And then it's gonna, it opened up to my table where it is and then I'm just gonna say insert. And I wanna insert it as a spreadsheet. And then you notice it looks just like it looked on the let's go abstract website. I can be a little bit more specific here, table 298, um, it's called college, uh, freshman, summary, characteristic, 1970 to 2015. So you're gonna wanna do this, um, you know, three of these tables, but you also need to go to the library. So I will, uh, continue this video over at the library. I'm going to actually walk in, show you what I see and you know what you need to do. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, connect these two videos. All right, so I hope this is helpful.